Hello, hello, everybody. We are back and we are doing a 30 minute total body stretch today. Oh, I know a lot of you guys need this. Um, we're using either a towel or a yoga strap if you have one. Um, this is going to just be chill. This is a great thing post-workout stretch or end of the day stretch or something like that, I would not do this stretch before a workout. I'm just letting you know that once your body, once your muscles are loose, um, there's more of a chance of injury uh, if you're doing like heavy weight or something. So you want to do this, this specific one, this one, post-workout. Okay, and I mean loose in a way that we're going to be holding stretches, okay? So there are differences of the, of like mobility and moving and warming up the muscles versus like taking the time to hold stretches. Okay, Cindy, Jenna, Jackie. Oh yeah, we need the stretch. I know, haven't seen you in a while, Sarah. Okay, you guys, thank you so much. We do daily workouts here, um, 9 a.m. Eastern time, uh, live almost every day, right? Almost every day. <sighs> so we're going to kind of relax a little here. Say, take me on a treasure All right. Uh, let's start down on the floor. You're like, really? Down on the floor? Yes. Let's start on the floor, bringing your bottoms of your feet together. <sighs> We're not going to be all laying down here. We're going to be moving around a little bit, but most of it will be on the floor. So right here, just kind of notice what you feel like. Relax muscles in your forehead. Good. Now, what I want you to do is just slightly tilt your pelvis towards you. Okay, so it helps to flatten out your back. Now press the bottoms of your feet together, and you're going to find that that right there should help to tilt the pelvis and get the lower back flatter. Okay, so hold it there. So we are now engaging the muscles in the adductors, the inner thighs. Now, try to keep the abdo abdomen where it is and the back where it is. You try to keep that tilt in the pelvis and then just let the knees fall open. So keep the strength in the pelvis. You might find, oh, oh, my knees could fall open a little bit more. Hold it. Don't let the back arch if you can. Breathe. Inhale. And then as you exhale, press the feet together again. See if you can get a little more of a tilt in the pelvis. Press the feet. And then exhale, just let the knees fall, but don't let the back arch hold there. Hey, Judy. Hey, Arcelis. Yes. Hey, Debbie. Nice. Now take your hands underneath the outsides of your legs and bring your knees together. Let's take your left knee into your chest and extend your right leg. And now I want you to flex and point your right toes, the leg that's long. Okay, flex and point. Get a little bit in there. <laughs> that's great, Jenna. You got it. <laughs> Yeah, do what you do when that's when right before that's about to happen, and that'll make you tilt your pelvis. Now flex your foot, flex that right foot. You might find that just even moving that ankle like that has kind of helped you to get length in that right leg. So let's do it again. Right ankle, just pointing and flexing. Hi, Sarah. Yes, you totally should. This is perfect. I'd love that, Sarah. Let me know in the comments later if it happens. Good. Flex it. Press the back of that leg down, and then go ahead and pull your right knee into your chest. Extend your left. Keep that knee pulled in, all right? And then flex and point. We got Jim and Marta here. Marlene, Roseanne. Good, Roseanne's back. Flex and point. So remember to pay attention to those feet, right? Pay attention to stretching the ankles, stretching out the feet and the toes, wiggling the toes, moving them, because your feet hold you up all day long, okay? It's like the base of your body. And they're little, right? Your feet are, well, except for Trudy's from what she tells me. I'm just kidding. Flex it and hold it, <laughs> right? Your feet are little compared to the rest of your body. So, right, make sure you're taking care of them. So, yeah, when I say I need new sneakers because of what I do, I need new sneakers. <laughs> 
Flex, point and flex again? Yeah, we all do. What do you guys think? What do you guys think if I gave you a, like a mobility 30 day challenge of like, or stretching 10 minute videos? Hmm? Hmm? Okay, hold it flexed again. Good, now we take both knees into the chest. And I just want you to take little circles in one direction. We're just starting out chill here, guys, okay? Slow down. Oh, some people are like, oh, this is too slow. That's the point. <laughs> That's the point, right? You like that, Liam? I'm gonna help me put it together. <laughs> Other direction. Got a job for you, Liam. <laughs> Good. Okay, so go ahead and bring your knees over to one side of your body and roll onto that side, and you're gonna come to seated, okay? Um, let's do, let's do legs out, okay? Sitting up tall, <laughs> bring the neck side to side, little movement in the neck there. I have been trying to find a new pillow. Would you? Would you guys do it? Okay. It's a challenge, though. Good. Okay, drop your head to the left and hold it. Now, here, I want everybody to not sit tall. I want you to, like, just do this. Do you notice how when you do that, you, you lose the stretch in your neck? So sit up tall, pull your shoulder blades back and down, fingertips on the floor in front of you. Imagine your back is against the wall and you're gonna feel that stretch through the side of the neck even more. If you need more, right? 10 minutes? Hi, Eileen. Up. Good. Other side, let it fall over there first. Okay. And like maybe think about even letting this shoulder feel heavy and hang down. Good. And up. Oh. <laughs> Trisha. Oh, Trisha. That's wonderful. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Hold there. Good. Come up, take your hands behind you, and bring your left leg over your right, whether that's comfortable or not, okay? And what I want you to do is just kind of circle your back around a little. Let me show you this, okay? So holding onto your knees, kind of lean forward, and then pull the belly button into the spine. So you're doing some trunk circles, okay? One direction, good. Uh, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> or if I make you, Jim. <laughs> Good. Other direction. Keep that left leg on top. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ten minute ones? Yeah, they're nice and easy. Okay, right, we, we got some work to do. And I can't talk to Regina because I know she's not doing this. <laughs> I'm gonna make Regina do it. Okay, stop. Okay, legs out. Now, right leg over left. Now, for some of you, right leg is gonna feel better. For me, I, I hate it, <laughs> okay? All right, but that means that it's tighter than the other side. So start your circles, okay? That means it's tighter than the other side. We gotta give it a little love, right? Good. Other direction. All right, I like this. <laughs> what I, <laughs> Debbie, <laughs> Debbie's after work sip and stretch. So, <laughs> what I think is funny though is I'm asking you guys because you guys stretch with me. <laughs> I need I need to get everybody else on board, right? <laughs> Good. And up. Okay. Back to left crossed over. Hands on the front of your shins and pull your chest forward, okay? Pull your chest forward so that you're not like that, all right? Now from there, fingers on the floor. Inhale. If that's all you have, that's all you have. Exhale. If you can come forward more, go ahead. And that's what I want you to do until you feel that you're at the edge. So inhale, 
Lengthen your back. Exhale, see if you can get down an inch. Now, if you're holding your breath or you're clenching your jaw or making a this, this hurts face, relax your face, breathe, inhale. Exhale, if you're making that face and clenching your jaw, that means you're not relaxing. Okay, so you wanna relax your face. That's the first sign that you're not relaxed. <laughs> All right, stay there. Just do the best you can. And remember, everybody's edge is different, right? Every, my edge is all the way down here, but your edge might be here, and that is absolutely fine, all right? The difference is it takes me more to get to what, what you're feeling, and that doesn't make me any better or less, or it just means I have more flexibility, but you may be stronger. You may be better at this or that and I just happen to be flexible right so no comparison good hang out here I know it doesn't feel awesome but for some of you this might feel awesome right begin to walk it up I saw a post yesterday that was flowers, and it said, a flower doesn't compare itself to the one next to it. It blooms when it's ready. And I was like, yes. Okay, inhale, switching your cross, and forward. Good. So on this, thank you, Trisha. On this, again, it's with that length through the back. The other thing you want to think of is like when we do this stretch, a lot of times people think that they want to sink into themselves. I want you to imagine you're going to shine your light behind you. Okay. Do you see the difference there? If I go like this, my back is rounding here. If I push my butt from behind me, I'm getting length. Okay. You might find that helps you a little bit. Diana. <gasps> Hi, Diana. That's Leslie's sister, by the way. Good. I used to be a lot of things. We'll stop thinking about the past, right? We had a crazy weekend last week, and some weird, weird, weird things happened, right? That we were like, oh my God, so keep breathing. And everybody's like, oh, I should have done this. I shouldn't have done that. I should have done this. Exhale. And I kept saying, what's the point of doing that? Like, why? Why? because we can't change what happened. All we can do is make, like, see what the future brings for us and change it as we can, okay? So there's no like, oh my God, I should have done this, I shouldn't have said that, I shouldn't have blah, 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 blah. Why? That's gonna create some, some stress, all right, that we don't need, right? And don't get me wrong, I do that sometimes, take it up. Sometimes I come out of this and I'm like, oh man, I shouldn't have said E. <laughs> I said it, right? Okay. Oh, oh, is it? I think my voice is annoying, Sarah. <laughs> okay, legs out. Now on this one, you might be here. Fine. If you're out wider, okay, your knees, either way, your knees are pointing up to the sky. Fingers on the floor, flex. So again, it comes from those ankles a little bit. Okay. So right here, chest up, shine your light back behind you and come forward. <laughs> and then come up. Oh, reach up. Exhale to one side. So there's a girl that I listen to. Um, in the evenings. You, you've heard me mention uh, meditations, uh, yoga nidras before. And a yoga nidra is kind of like what we do at the end of some of the mobilities where we go through the body and face, you know, go through each toe, each finger, all that stuff. Hold it. Reach, 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 reach. Okay. Center. And we're going to go back to the center again and see if you got a little bit more. and come back up, good, other side. So uh, I found a new person that I love. Now I've been listening to her for probably two months 
at night. And, and it's funny because her voice isn't like, stay calm and relax. It's like very just normal. <laughs> it's not feel the wind in your hair. It's just. So her name is Ayla, A-Y-L-A, Nova. She's from Canada. I say that because I love my Canadians. <laughs> I love all you guys. Come forward again. Ah, oh, right. Quesada. <laughs> right, right, Jim? Um, but I put her on at night. She just calms you down, tells you to breathe. So you're forward. Now right here, wherever you are, up, inhale, lengthen your back. Up with your chest, press your butt back, inhale. I know, exhale. I know, even her name. And she's so sweet. I always comment. I always am like, oh my God, I can't wait to do this one because I can't. She puts a new one out every week. And I go through her old ones and each week she gets better and better. Good. Okay, 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 okay. Come up. All right. So let's cross your left leg. <laughs> Cross your left leg over, and I want it to be like this first, okay? And then I want you to just kind of bring your knee in, in and up a little bit. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Sir Liam the Lamb. Sir Liam. Her name is Ayla. Yep, that's right, Jenna. Ayla Nova. A Y L A Nova. I can tag her. Uh, someone's going to have to remind me, Liam. <laughs> Tag her in this video um, and put your left foot across. Now hug and sit tall. Um, she's just. <laughs> she, her, yeah, I just really like her. She's uh, very chill. She has a really good story, too. So it's on YouTube. Sorry, Maria. It's on YouTube. Yeah. And I, I usually put them on and then just put an earbud in. Okay, so your left leg is crossed. I want you to take your right arm, hug that knee, and get up tall. Now, this twist is from the navel up. So what I want you to do is start your left hand at your right shoulder, and then imagine you're peeling your left shoulder open, and then put your left fingers on the floor, okay? So the twist is from the navel up, and you're hugging in that left leg. Um, yeah, her. I, so I put it on ear. I put it on my phone, and then the phone plugged in across the room. And I put my phone in a book because if you put if you put YouTube on on your phone, you can't like. Di I can dim it all the way down, but still there's like some light, and I don't like to have any light when I sleep. <sighs> so I put I put my phone in the book that I bought myself to read that I still haven't read. So it's, that's what I use it for. <laughs> Good. Bring it back to the center. Okay, and now keep that leg crossed, sit back, and come up. Um, and literally, I fall, I, I typically fall asleep in the first five to ten minutes of her uh, nidras. So your chest is lifted here. If, you, if you're like this, okay, lean back, bring your foot out a little bit. Okay, you don't want to you don't want to be in this position and be all crunched up. Good, nice, Donna. Good. Breathe. See, so, yeah, it's on YouTube. I like to tell you guys YouTube channels that I like and that I watch and that I listen to. I know I love this too. The figure four. This is like so good. Uh, Especially the when doing it in like the half pigeon pose. By the way, Beth, are you on? Beth, who uh, goes to Cindy, the massage therapist. I want to tell you something funny. Good. All right. Take it down and now release. Shake it out a little bit. And if you want, give yourself a little. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. Okay. So, knee in, cross it over, and hug it first. Good. Stay there. I know the sign was hmm. given. It's in the way. Good. So right there, you're getting nice and tall. Stretch it. 
No, my phone turns off, but I plugged in. Actually, you know what's weird, Janet? That's a good question. Janet said, does your phone play all night after you fall asleep? Um, now, hug it, okay? And then, again, twist from your torso and hand on the floor. Look over your shoulder if you can. Um, so, Janet, my phone is definitely off when I wake up in the morning, but sometimes I wake up with it still playing and it's somebody else's meditation or somebody else talking about something. So uh, I don't know. I'm sure that Liam might know if there's a setting where you can make it turn off after, like you might be able to close YouTube after something plays. I'm not sure. I don't know why I just assume Liam knows everything. <laughs> because, because he's 25 and he knows everything about the internet. <laughs> Hold it. Good. Bring it back to the center. Okay, lean it back. Lean back. And good. That's a good question. I'll let you know tonight. Usually what happens, usually what happens is the earbud falls out of my ear and I wake up in the middle of the night and then I put I put it on the uh, I put it back on the charger. Yeah. That's usually what happens. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. See that? Liam knows. Liam is one of my favorite people to giggle with. Yeah. So is Dawn Endo. Are you here, Dawn Endo? So Beth, if you do this later, I'm just going to say. So I went to see my massage therapist, Cindy, and um, uh, one of our participants, Beth, goes to her as well. And she's good. And Cindy, she's so cute. She goes, Beth can do pigeons. And I'm so jealous. And I go, wait. I don't know if Beth is doing full pigeon. We do half pigeon. <laughs> and she's like, oh, that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> Good. Okay, take it out. Extend it. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. All right, let's come to hands and knees. Okay, and I want you to cat cow a little bit here. And arch. Good. <laughs> Hi, Dawn. Oh. I had something to say to you today, Dawn, and I forget what it was. <sighs> Good. <sighs> nice. Flatten your back. Left, left arm reaches up to the sky. Reach. Hold it. Try to keep even in all of the toes and your knees so that you're not kind of dropping over to one side. Hold it. <laughs> Take it down. Go to the other side. Up. I'm happy Donna's staying. Or is Donna staying for the whole thing? She usually says bye if she doesn't, so. <laughs> Reach. Good. Take it down. Come to your belly. And elbows are coming in towards your body. Okay. So stay right there. Stay right there. So we're going to do like just a mini cobra, and then we're going to work up to a little bit of up dog. Now, you don't have to do up dog. And I'm forgetting about the towel stuff already. Okay. All right. So... This position, okay, let me show you, is not, all right, press into your forearms, pull your elbows towards you like you're trying to drag yourself across the mat, press your forearms, sorry, press your um, pelvis into the floor and lengthen up with your chest, okay? So if you're like this, you might feel crunchy in your lower back and we don't want that. Okay, so come on down, and if that's enough for you, you can stay with that, or bring your hands, spread out your fingers next to your chest, squeeze your elbows in, and press yourself up, pulling again, the shoulder blades back, the chest through the arms. Now, we don't want this, okay? You want to be long, and if you can, drop your hips side to side. If this is not good for you, you either just hold the up dog or hold that cobra. Okay. 
Okay. There is some strength involved with the up dog. Good. Look up. Come all the way down. Nice. Bend your, bring your hands. Okay, watch first, watch first. <laughs> bend your left knee and bring it down. And then you're going to bend your right knee. So that's your first move here. And right now, go ahead and bring your hand, your head to your hands. Okay, stay there. Good. Good. Thanks, J thanks, Jane. Good. Nice. All right, keeping your head down. Now, what are we doing here? When you do this, I want you to notice if when you bend your knee, does your hip come off the floor or can you keep it down? Okay. If your hip is coming off the floor, you're probably a little bit tight in those hip flexors, and so they're compensating by lifting up, right? So see how far you can come in without letting those the pelvic bones come off the floor. Okay. Now, <laughs> bend your left knee. Take, lift up your head and bring your right arm out to the side, straight out to the side. Okay, left hand next to you. Press into your left hand and open up into a scorpion, okay? So your left hand is on the floor. Your right arm is straight behind you. So this is awesome for hip flexor left, shoulder and chest right. Hold. I don't even know if we're gonna, I don't know if we're gonna get to the stuff with the towel because I think I'm, oh no, I'm not already gone over. I'm about to go over though. Mm, we need, well, I'm saying we need 10 minute mobility. Now I'm like, now we need an hour. We need an hour of stretching. Breathe. Breathe, relax. And slowly bring it back to the center. Good. All right. Lifting up. The left arm comes out. Right hand next to you. Bend your right knee. You're laying on your left ear as you bring that over. Now, if this is your first time doing this, the first time I did it, I was like, what the? What? Um, you're asking me to do what? But then, as I got better at it, okay, so yeah, it does take a little practice. All right. You're go, you go, oh, oh, this feels good. Yeah. <laughs> Breathe. Good. Point that knee up to the sky if you can. Excellent. And then bring it back to the center. Slowly. We're going to come back into a child's pose. So bring your knees together. Drop back. Reach your arms forward. And let your head fall, fall to the floor. Good. Stay right there. Think about you a lot. Stay right there. I know. Whenever you do the twist, you do. You do get a nice little back crack. Hi, Gina. This is going to be your happy hour later? Good, good. Oh, yeah, I know. I love that one. Don't you, Trisha? Hold there. Good. Liam, you don't have to take notes, by the way. <laughs> Although I have a feeling you are. <laughs> Liam's going to have a notepad next to his mat all the time now. Good. Roll your shoulders up. Roll yourself up to seated. If you can, stay on the, um, stay on the feet. Open your chest by pressing your knuckles down, intertwining. Look up. Oh, yes. Look up. Knuckles down, chin up. Relax your jaw. Now open your mouth wide. Close it. 
Nice. Look forward. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Come to hands and knees. Curl your toes under. Let's come up to just one down dog here. Best you can. Rock your hips side to side. We do this every day. And I'm still so amazed. Good. Walk your feet, or sorry, your hands back towards your feet. Hands back towards your feet. Hang down. So Neck long, head heavy. Bend your knees, roll yourself up. Big breath in, slightly back. Great job today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Please leave a like, a comment. Um, <laughs> thank you. You guys rock so much. Thank you, everybody. Joyce, Della, Marta, Jim, Trudy, Liam, Trisha, Gina. Everybody, thank you so much. Hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you tomorrow for the rump roast. The rump roast. <laughs> Bye, guys.